Hey guys, what's going on? It is Nock, and welcome back to something we haven't done for quite a while. This is a Worms Blind commentary of a map between Deathwish808 and a load of crap. And Deathwish sent it over and said, would you mind doing a blind commentary on this map? And it seems like they're playing in a pond environment, and it was a winner-take-alls situation. And we're getting underway right here with Deathwish808. It's pretty even spread on the Worms. We have two for each team on both sides. Deathwish there getting mightily close to that mine though, and it was a dud. And uh, Deathwish there showing just how professional he is when it comes to this mine jumping. I certainly can't do anything like that when I am playing. Anyway, Deathwish is choosing here to pull out the bazooka. I'm going to see a cross map shot. Then we're going to go for the worm in the middle. We are indeed. He hits the mine. And the worm is near the mine as well. I don't think he's going to have completely wiped it off, but that is a serious amount of damage. 89 hit points on a load of craps. First worm there to get us underway. And a load of crap there with an interesting uh, hat choice there. Looks like he's got a fishing hook through his worms, which is uh, quite interesting to see. But uh, we pick it up again with a load of crap here on the right-hand side on his middle worm. What are his options? I think he's going to go for the lower left worm if... Uh, it was me. That's the one I would go for. Certainly surrounded with barrels and mines and a whole host of goodness right there. But he's got the bazooka out at the moment. Wind is slightly against him, so it's going to push the shot uh, off course a little bit. So he's got a counter for that. But it's a good shot. Hits the mine and Deathwish's worm is straight in the drink. And yeah, a load of crap takes the early advantage with a 4 to 1. Deathwish now with the worm on top right, and he's not really got a lot of movement options here. He's got a mine right at the end of that platform, so he's going to have to be very careful as to where he uh, positions that and what he can do. He might be able to hit the worm with the 11 health on the mid left over there. He's got the bazooka out at the moment, and he's going to be able to do a lot else unless he tries to do some sort of um, funky shot with a grenade, which he has just switched out to. And I was just about to say, he's got that nice bit of uh, geometry there to roll the grenade around. Unfortunately, there is a bit of damage to his worm. It kind of backfired a little bit, but no, another good chunk of damage from a load of crap's worm. And Deathwish is straight back into the lead there. So a load of crap with two worms, which are almost down to 10 percent yeah, health death wish yeah, down by one but in the grand scheme of things death wish is in the lead so a load of crap now <laughs> looking to gain some height here maybe to help him out but i think he should be all right he's got low wind so whether or not the the bazooka shot here will come um drop down enough quickly enough depends how much power he puts into this arc and will he clear those pixels i don't think he's quite happy with the position in there as he readjusts on the left hand side here tries to get that a little bit extra high i think he should be all right just to arc it around nicely he does indeed however he has taken out his own worm which is catastrophic and uh, we are now down to a three on three situation look at the fire though the fire damage sends death wishes worm straight down into that little bit there that's uh, some cheeky little extra damage i was monitoring that fire on the brolly thinking it looks like it's about to drop and it did indeed death wish is quite lucky there though that he didn't also fall on the mine and take even more damage but <laughs> death wish doesn't think he sorry i don't think he's going to be doing a lot with this worm over here though unfortunately he's really like gonna have to take some damage if he wants to get that out but not surprisingly he takes the jump rope and i think we've just lost another worm actually or we're losing a worm that fire has dropped even more i can't really see because of death wishes uh, keyboard and mouse overlay there but i think the worm's been lost i think the fire has taken it out potentially and we're gonna have to get a confirmation of that in a little while I think he is. No, he's gone. He's drowned. So, yeah, Deathwish lost another worm there. So, a load of crap is back in control with three on two. Maybe he can make it a three on one here, depending uh, whether or not a load of crap can get a grenade shot here. Can't use the bazooka because the wind is three against him. So, he's definitely going to put that off course. But it's going to be a bit. Oh, look at the bounce. The bounce right there. That was a fantastic shot from a load of crap. And uh, wasn't. The most damage we've seen, but a good chunk of damage considering it was a cross-map grenade shot, which, in my opinion, didn't look like it was going to do anything um, early off anyway. So, uh, I, knew that was I think Deathwish here will try and take the mid-left worm here and try and bring it down to a two-on-two -two situation. 
He does need to be wary though, because the uh, he's he's come up short yeah, that ground. I was gonna say he do, would need to be wary though, because the worm underneath on 100 health would get the next go. So he um, does need to be quite um, cautious of what he was going to do there. But regardless, that worm is to go next. Now I think he should be safe with that worm because of all of the brilliant protection he has got, unless a load of crap can do some weird bank shot. I don't think the splatter damage here is going to be enough to knock Death Wish off the perch, but we will see. We will see. So he lines up the bazooka shot here. I did wonder if he'd like try and do some banking off that right-hand side. There's some quite curved edges, so maybe if he could get the right position, a grenade shot would potentially work for him, but it would be a long shot. He's really trying to stick with the bazooka shot here and see what he can do. You didn't you didn't harm yourself in any way. I didn't harm myself. He's going to curve back round towards a load of crap. And he has cleared out all of that yeah, bottle. So a load of crap is now definitely going to be stuck on that yeah, ledge. Only one worm and he's, uh, he's not going to be able to move anywhere. I did think that with the bottles there, he did have, have an option there to sort of move around. But i very surprised if Deathwish does anything else here than jump rope. And he has jump rope. So we are back in a load of crap's court here. See if he can um, get a good shot. I mean, again, the wind is against him, so I think he's going to have to change it out to a grenade here rather than a bazooka shot. But we will see. I just feel like a bazooka will take it too high and bring it back towards himself, which would be deadly. So, yeah, he's changed it out to a two-second grenade. It's across the map. Will it stick? No, it drops down just a little bit too early, and uh, Deathwish is safe for the time being. So what can Deathwish do here in retaliation? I think he's probably going to go back to the 11 health worm. He does indeed, and that will be close enough. And we are down to a two-on-two -two situation. Definitely learned from his mistakes on the previous attempt where he came up short. But, yep, no issues and no concerns that time around. Load of crap's worm is dead and buried, and... We are back now. Um, I mean, a load of crap has a 70 point advantage here with the two worms. What can he do here? Now, a load of crap's got the wind. I'd be surprised if he doesn't switch this out to the bazooka. He does indeed. And then he's going to do a cross map shot. Uh, I think he's going to want to be a bit higher than that, possibly, though, because the wind will push the shot down as it flies across the map. We'll see, though. Yep, and he takes out his own worm. That's what I was, that's what I was worried about. You've got to be careful when there's wind. That, that direction, it was obviously going to push the rocket down further, so I think he really needed to aim a bit higher, as I sort of my early indication, my early thoughts said. Yeah, Which will right. jump rope again here, and we're back with a load of crap here on the bottom right-hand corner of the map. That mistake from a load of crap a moment ago, though, has brought the scores a little bit closer together here. <laughs> There is only a deficit of 26 points now. Now, he's got the win, but I don't think he's going to have the angle. Um, a one win won't affect the rocket too much here, but definitely <clears throat> it would just go up and down unless you can get a, 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 even the slightest of angles would probably work here. But he's got so much debris around and so much geometry and pixels around where he is at the moment. He can't be sure. So he's going to try and attempt what I thought he might on the previous turn, which is some sort of bank shot here with a grenade and that was a brilliant shot it just bounced up quite nicely and got close enough with that one second timer to knock death wishes worm in the water and now death wish is down to one so it's gonna be all for a load of craps worms now to do here because death wish can just keep doing that jump rope and staying safe now of course as the timer runs down more and more it's gonna get towards sudden death and a load of crap does have the high ground with the uh, the worms here, so let's see what he's going to attempt here. I mean, I think I would possibly go try the other direction and see if I could start like opening up a gap on the other side of that brolly where a load of crap's worm is stood. But obviously, a load of crap is a far more experienced player than myself, and it looks like he's going to just try and chip away from underneath of Deathwish eight to eight, which would make sense because he can use this worm on the bottom right, assuming the wind is playing his ball for him. He can use the worm here to try and like chip away 
at that area below as lot as well as the worm on top but wind is against him so he's going to have to do some cross map uh grenade tosses here he said it for two seconds full power it's across and a little bit too low it, it bounced maybe a little bit of a higher angle would have kept it in the air just that a little bit longer but uh, that didn't really have any effect on trying to dig Deathwish 808 out of this hole on the left hand side of the map here. Yeah, it would. Like, like if he tapped uh, two, he would be two. Would... So I think we're going to see more of the same here from a load of crap. He's going to just keep trying to bank it off the ceiling here in an attempt to chip away at the bottom. That one wasn't quite right though. He hit the wrong side of that little curve. At the uh, at underneath him there, and that sent the grenade straight into the water. But uh, Deathwish is surely is just going to be sort of rubbing his hands and laughing about this right now okay, because he's yeah. like, "I'm safe. I'm in a hidey hole. Come, come get me." This might be a better shot though. The the wind is looking good for a load of crap, so we're going to switch it out to the bazooka here with a three wind. See, the angle is good, and he has chipped away quite nicely. He's making another little curved indent in there, and that may, might play that into the hands of the worm on top if he's going to continue to <laughs> drop grenades down there and try and arc it round. He's now can get the momentum. He's now like another arc, which the grenade can sort of like flick up into and chip yeah, away at that area a little bit more. So let's just see what he can achieve in this one. It's down. But no, he hit the point there. He didn't quite get the arc. And that's actually okay, destroyed I, I the bottom the segment of it. So I don't Take think that. a load of crap will be able to try that move again. I might be wrong. But he's definitely not got any sort of oh, flick up there at the bottom, which a grenade roll would oh, kind of perfect. give him. And I think he might have to use or employ some different tactics there for that worm at the top left there. So the wind is against him once again here. So we're going to see another grenade toss from a load of crap. See if you can get it any closer in though now that some of that geometry has been um, taken away where those golf balls were. Maybe you can dig it in a little bit closer underneath the Deathwish. There we go. That's the shot. And that was some nice damage there. And the Deathwish for the first time, his worm on the left is looking vulnerable here. Still going to have to jump rope though because there is nothing that Deathwish can actually do with that worm as of yet. So he's still going to have to kind of jump rope and it's still very much in a load of craps court here as to how and where things happen oh, you got perfect one for your other guy again but it'd be interesting to see if he employs some different tactics here with this worm on the top i think he's just going to try and do more of the same though he's going to hope that there is enough of a curve on that um, segment of land below no he's, he's aiming it out a little bit more so maybe if he can get like an angle off there, maybe he's thinking it will roll a bit better, but no. It has cleared away the mine, but uh, that was not a very good attempt from a load of crap, I have to say. Even if you had stayed put, you would have been fine. And let's see if the worm on the right-hand side of the map here gets the angle and the wind. I think the wind is going to be against him though. Looking at this early indication, you can see the leaves are blowing from left to right, which means the wind is against him. So let's see if he can pull off another grenade shot here. Two second timer. It's up and that is it. Deathwish is free. He is out of the hidey hole. And now the pressure is on. The worm at top doesn't have to worry too much about the angles anymore. So that gives a load of crap another advantage but for the first time in about 10 turns for Deathwish he's actually going to be on the offensive here wind is with him and well placed shot could get rid of <laughs> JJ's worm for the inevitable. <laughs> however I mean, Deathwish I is mean, not going I for it I thought he might have gone a little bit up higher on the left hand bit. side yeah, the as that would have given him a better oh, angle yeah. to yeah, actually I don't like attack that lower left worm however we're back with a load of crap now he's got the worm on top can he just find the right angle here to drop down the grenade onto the worm below let's see and he gets a little bit of damage and takes away a little bit of that shelter which Deathwish 808 is kind of using to hide his worm there so a couple more of them from a load of crap will definitely fully expose Deathwish's worm but he has also now been given the opportunity to jump up on top of this mound. So you can only assume he's going to try and knock a load of crap off his perch here. 
So let's see what he can achieve. Definitely can't attack the worm on the right because of the four wind against him. And I can see what he was going for. I think he was trying to hit sort of like more over to the left hand side of that worm to sort of try and knock him off the perch. However, I was a bit concerned that Deathwish had left the worm on top of the um, the turf there. However, because of whose turn it is now, a load of craps worm can't really knock him off into the water in any way, shape or form. So he is safe from the water. However, a load of crap has got the wind with him and it's going to be a bazooka shot. What damage can he do? I think Deathwish is going to have enough protection here to not be get killed. And a load of crap actually goes all the way over. I don't, I don't think... There would have been enough splatter damage there from a load of crap had he have hit the, the debris on the sort of right of death wishes worm there. However, it was still a breath of fresh air, I guess, a bit of relief for Deathwish, who has now got a clear line of sight to a load of crap's worm. That's an almost direct hit. He's not quite been taken out. However, once again, and more concerning for Deathwish this time, he has not moved that worm and the worm above him gets to go next. So he is in a very precarious position here. He's got, to be, he's got to be praying that a load of crap doesn't get a good shot here. But a load of crap's got like a more of an arc above him now, which is definitely going to help to aim this grenade. It should help it to roll just around the ceiling and straight back down to Deathwish, where it's on, all on the timing. And that's 20, and he, Deathwish was very lucky there. He got extremely lucky that he wasn't just knocked a few more pixels to the right as he would have slid right off and into the drink and that would have been game over however death wish now he's really got to take out one of a load of crap's worms here i think it's his only option he's switching out to the grenade it's probably the better idea he can get it just to the left of a load of crap's worm here hopefully and then send a load of crap's worm flying it's up it's down but it does oh wow now that is something. I didn't even see that pixel. And the way he slid off that brolly, I was just about to say, a load, it, Deathwish had gone too far. But he got it just right, and a load of crap slid all the way off the map. And he seems like he has landed on an invisible pixel. Can you believe it? And a load of crap here. He's in prime position, though, once again. Can he take out Deathwish 808's worm? It's coming down to the wire, guys. This is it. This is the finale. Well, that, that was hilarious. Not really sure what he wants to do here. The wind is against him, which is the, the problem. Now, what that will do is... I think he needs to go a bit lower with that one. I think that's going to... Yeah, he swapped out the grenade. I was going to say, I think with the bazooka, he would have needed to have gone a lot lower with that. But the grenade's up, so this will give Deathwish a chance. And a load of crap has taken out his own worm. We are back to a one-on-one -on -one situation, and after all of this, Deathwish is now in command. He has a, an 11 health point advantage. He has the wind with him. He is pulling out that bazooka, and you've got to think that this is going to be game, set, and match in terms of Deathwish. He's missed straight over the top of a load of crap. And I think he was a little bit late. He was a little bit delayed to react there. I think he was trying to get his worm back, but he ran out of movement time. You only get a set amount of period after taking your move where you can move that worm. But I was very surprised right there that Deathwish didn't finish things off. So it's back to a load of crap with a grenade toss. Can't use a bazooka because of the wind. See what he can do. Can he take the victory? Yeah, I knew it would be Kind of close, but yeah, four wins. He's gone back four to the bazooka, interestingly. I don't think that's going to work. No. The wind against him was just going to slow it up far too much. If it was a little less, maybe a, a three or a two wind, he might have got away with it. But being a four, definitely not. The wind stays the same, and Deathwish now has another bazooka shot. No, he does not. He falls down, and that's going to end his turn because he has taken damage. So many twists and turns right at the end here. You, you just think one of them is going to take it, and then a mistake happens, and then 
you just don't know where, which way it's going to go. We're back to a load of crap now. The wind is against him once again, but you would think he's going to pull out a grenade because Deathwish is in a little hidey hole here. He does not go for the grenade. Instead, he goes for a bazooka, which does inflict some damage, but not enough. A load of crap back in the lead now by 10 hit points, but it's Deathwish now. Can Deathwish get out of the hole? He can. He's got the wind with him once again. And he goes for the showboating finish, the rocket off the water bounce there. And, well, that the end of that map certainly was exciting. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll be back hopefully soon with some more worms. But like I've said before, just when you think you know how these things are going to end, there's so many twists and turns. And, um, yeah, it's definitely very, very exciting. So thanks, guys, for uh, that game. If you have any more please do send them over thank you very much for watching until next time thank you and goodbye